Hey guys, Mayen here, bringing you another video with my top five plugins that I use in all my productions. So if you haven't subscribed, hit the bell, hit subscribe so you can get my latest videos on your feed. This is not a detailed video on how they work or a review. This is more like why I love them and why they are always in my productions. This Monday, I'm going to be doing a track review of my first track for 2019. As you guys know, I have a goal of hitting 50 tracks, so that's going to be one of 50. So I'm going to go over the structure and like plugins and all this other stuff that I use to make the track. Boom! Anyways, let's go to the studio to see the plugins that I love and that I use in all my tracks. Okay, so the first plugin a must have for me in all my productions, it's the Omega Transformer Model D. This one, it's uh, an emulation of the neat preamp and it makes sounds a little bit rougher, a little bit fatter, uh, rusty and I mean for the, for the type of electronic music that I make, this adds kicks character and also to bass lines. Uh, so here is how it sounds with the kick without the this plugin turned on. Maybe you want to listen to it on your headphones or on studio monitors. And now let's go back a bit. That's without it. That's with. So you can bring in the intensity of the preamp. So how I use this plugin, this uh, preamp emulator, is that after I record the the analog sounds coming from the analog rhythm, and if I think that it needs a little bit more dust or punch or fatness to the kick. I will add this as the first part of my chain and then I will EQ it and then I would use the compressor to like make it a little bit punchier but this is for me this is one of like my favorite plugins that I discovered uh, on 2018. The second plugin that is a must have uh, in my productions and especially for like bass lines it's for sure the uh, the Fab Filter Pro EQ it's just amazing how the slope can go from like 6 dB to 96 when it when it comes to like uh, low end bass lines and uh, when it comes to like connecting them so they dance equally with the kick. I think this is the best uh, like EQ that I've seen. Uh, we're going to see right now how I'm able to like cut off uh, the the lower frequencies and just get that like raw sound for like the, the this bass line that uh, has this track called uh, Gratitude that I'm um, I'm finishing up so so yeah let's see how it sounds so now I'm going to turn on the kick Right, because I think it's really valuable to see where the, the kick is uh, hitting. Uh, so, so yeah. So as you can see, the kick's coming through really well and it's uh, working well with this bass line uh, so yeah that's why I love this uh, fat filter let's cut everything down the slope being 96 dB should get you there so so yeah I, I love this uh, EQ for sure so this is my third uh, plugin this is more of a synth BST uh, this one's really cool um, you know, even though I used a lot of analog, uh, like synthesizers and modular and all this other stuff, but like sometimes you just need something simple, 
you know, that's going to help you with uh, that idea that you might have. And this thing is just amazing. I this is probably I'm I'm late to the game, but this is like one of like my favorite discoveries of 2018. Uh, it's just amazing. I love the arpeggiator, the sequencer, the sounds that these things have. Uh, I mean the baseline uh, 101 by Tal. It's just awesome. I mean, if you can get your hands to it, they're not that expensive at all. Uh, I will probably put the the prices and links in the description below so you guys can go and check them out. But this is just pretty cool. Uh, so let's look at what I wrote, right? So I wrote, let me see. So I wrote this progression, right? And uh, I used the arpeggiator. I synced it to the BPM that I, I was using for this track. And, and this is what I, like the sound that came up. Yeah, so one of my favorites, number four. Uh, yeah, it's the Bahala Vintage Burb. Man, it's just it just gives this like I don't know like sweetness on the reverb is not as hard on the CPU. Uh, makes things sound a little bit more spacious. Um, I don't know. I I love it. I pretty much I use it on every track and it's part of like the effects that I use the most. So, so yeah, this is a must have, the Valhalla Vintage Verve. Here is how it sounds on this build up that I have going on right now. And I'll let you guys hear it without the Valhalla and then with the Valhalla. Okay, now let's listen to it with the Valhalla. See how soft it is, the buildup? That tail is just amazing. So now let's hear how it sounds with the entire track playing, right? <laughs> See how soft is coming in? Adding drama to that part of the track is... Yeah.
Yeah, so Bahala, yes. This one's called Levels. This one goes on my master uh, channel. And the cool thing about this one, right, is that it will show me as I'm ready to mix a track. Uh, like, uh, like if I have enough headroom, so like I'm able to go over here and like set up the headroom for where I want it to peak. So it gives me like a visual uh, aid when it comes to like mixing. Uh, then it also gives you the uh, the stereo field of the track to see if you're filling out overextending the stereo field the dynamic range of uh, the track and also the bass Space right so you, here is uh, where you would like Mute the kick and the bass out of the track. So I'm gonna mute those two right now and It, it gives you a general idea of like Where everything is hitting which is really cool if you have enough room here on the 400s, you know, that's that's where you want to be, right? For your kick and your bass. So now I'm going to put them in. And you'll see. See, like right now, since I haven't mixed this track, uh, or I'm in the process of it, you can see that the headroom is... It's peaking, right? So it gives me an idea on like what I have to work on in the mix. So that's also something really, really cool about this plugin. Stereo feel seems to be good. Dynamic range. Now let's see the bass. How everything is going. Yeah. So I need to work on that, but yeah, this is uh, a great plugin to get by mastering the mix and I'll put in a link in the description so you guys can see it. Um, so now I'm just gonna do like a little rundown of the track, uh, yeah, so you guys can get a feel for it. You know, this is uh, uh, a progressive melodic techno track, so yeah. So yeah, that's kind of like the the track that I'm working on. So yeah. So there you go, guys. These are my five plugins. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Uh, I'll be showing you more of the plugins that I use. Uh, but but yeah. Um, whenever you get a chance, just subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, we'll get that rolling. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for showing up. Bye.